JavaScript is genius and trash at the same time. Let's first look into why it's genius. Well, JavaScript is dynamically typed, which means you can change the type of a variable on the fly. This flexibility allows for rapid development and makes it easier to work with different data types. Here, the variable number starts as a number and is later assigned a string value. JavaScript allows this dynamic change without raising an error. Apart from that, functions in JavaScript are treated as first-class citizens, meaning they can be assigned to variables, passed as arguments to other functions, and returned as values from other functions. This enables powerful functional programming patterns and gives JavaScript a lot of flexibility. Here, JavaScript treats the greet function as a value and passes it as an argument to the say hello function. This allows for dynamic behavior and code reuse. JavaScript uses prototypal inheritance, where objects can inherit properties and methods directly from other objects. This enables code reusability and promotes a flexible and dynamic object-oriented programming style. This differs from class-based inheritance found in languages like Java and C++, where classes are used to define and instantiate objects. Here, the dog object inherits the legs property and the make sound method from the animal object. Also, JavaScript has a vast ecosystem with a wide range of libraries and frameworks that extend its capabilities. These libraries cover various areas including user interface development, server-side programming, data visualization, and much more. Leveraging these resources can significantly speed up development. JavaScript is event-driven, meaning it can respond to user actions or events triggered by browser or other sources. This allows you to create interactive web applications that respond dynamically to user input. Here, JavaScript listens for the click event on a button and executes the provided callback function when the button is clicked. Also, with JavaScript, you can update parts of a web page dynamically without needing to reload the entire page. This enables a smoother user experience by allowing real-time updates and reducing network traffic. Here, JavaScript updates the content of an HTML element every second, creating a simple counter that increments in real time. JavaScript is primarily known for its integration with web browsers. It allows for dynamic manipulation of the document object model, handling user events, and making HTTP requests from web pages. This unique feature makes JavaScript essential for client-side web development. Now, those were some amazing aspects of JavaScript that make it unique and genius in nature. Let's now explore why JavaScript can also be trapped or problematic to work with. Well, JavaScript as an interpreted language may not be as fast as compiled languages like C or Java. JavaScript engines have made significant improvements in performance, but complex operations or resource-intensive tasks might still be slower in JavaScript compared to languages that are compiled to machine code. Apart from that, JavaScript executed within a web browser has access to sensitive information and can interact with the user's system. If not handled carefully, this power can be exploited by malicious actors. Cross-site scripting attacks, for example, can occur when untrusted JavaScript code is executed within a web page, allowing an attacker to manipulate or steal user data. Also, JavaScript is dynamically typed, which means variables can change their type during runtime. While this flexibility can be beneficial, it can also introduce type-related bugs. For example, if you expect x to always be a number, but inadvertently assign it a string value, it may lead to unexpected behavior or errors when performing mathematical operations operations on X. These type-related bugs may not be caught by the compiler or linter during development, making them harder to identify and debug. And lastly, JavaScript execution can vary slightly across different web browsers. Each browser may have its own implementation quirks, which can lead to inconsistencies in how JavaScript code behaves. This can result in bugs that are specific to certain browsers and require additional effort to ensure cross-browser compatibility. So no doubt JavaScript has its own pros and cons, but then no language is perfect within itself. And not to mention JavaScript is really popular at the moment and being widely used everywhere. And at its current pace, there's no doubt it's only going to get more popular in the future as well. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.